when it comes to mastering any mobile shooter game, the first step in this lengthy process is making sure that you're using the best controls layout or more commonly referred to as head to display layout for you. If you've ever tried editing your own head to display layout before, there's a good chance you've been overwhelmed by the 30 plus different layout buttons on your screen and the different options between multiplayer and battle royale. Well, fortunately enough for you all, I've spent the last seven years of my life playing mobile shooter games and creating these exact heads up display layouts so that you don't have to. And I'm here today to share with you all the best HUD layouts for both phone players and tablet players. Before I start showing you all a bunch of heads up display layouts or HUD layouts, there are a few more important things to understand about mobile shooters and the type of player you are. I'm guessing there are at least a few people who are watching this video that have never played Wars of Mobile before, while at the exact same time, I'm guessing there are a few people who could easily be considered Warzone Mobile Pros. And for that reason, I'm going to be showing a few different types of layouts meant for different skill levels of players, while also explaining how you can move up within the ranks of skill and Warzone Mobile by switching to these different layouts. As typically, the more complicated the layout is, the higher the skill ceiling is, and the better of an overall player you can become. One tiny small note I want to share with you all before I start showcasing the best heads up displays for Warzone Mobile is feel free to copy down each one of these heads up displays pixel by pixel, but also feel free to make whatever changes you deem necessary to make these HUDs fit your personal preference. And at the end of the day, these are meant to be your controls and are meant to help you become the best player possible. And so feel free to copy down the heads up display sort of like a template and then move things around as you see fit. Once you start playing with it and experimenting with it, as there's no point in sticking with and using a heads up display someone else made if you're not comfortable with it or if you just don't perform well with it at all. And so with all that out of the way, let's go and jump into the first and most basic of the heads up displays, the two finger heads up display. This layout is meant to be used by players who just control their game using their two thumbs on either their phone or their tablet, but mainly for phone players. This can make the game feel a little cramped at times, but that's the trade-off you're making when you're playing a mobile FPS shooter that has upwards of 20 buttons on the screen you need to be pressing and you just have your two thumbs in order to press all of them. Even still, with this heads up display, you're going to be able to learn the very basics and fundamentals of a mobile shooter, learning how to aim, move, shoot, all while familiarizing yourself with playing mobile games on a phone and not on a keyboard or mouse or controller like you might be used to. Again, this is going to be the most limiting of the heads up displays in terms of potential skill. But again, this heads up display is great for casuals or players who just want to pick up the game, get good, decent, or just above average at the game, but don't want to have to invest a ton of time in becoming a sweaty gamer because their main platform might be PC or console. This is also the only heads up display that takes advantage of the ADS fire button, meaning whenever you press this fire button, it will automatically ADS for you and start shooting at the same time. So it sort of combines two actions into one, but it also on the left hand side of the screen does give you the hip fire button. So if you don't want to always ADS, you can use the button on the left side of the screen to hip fire, but primarily you will be using the ADS fire button on the right hand side of the screen, because again, you're just limited with only two inputs at once. And this just allows you to be a little bit more fluid with your gameplay. And if you're wondering what's the easiest way to actually get these heads up displays on your device, well, Warzone Mobile has added an import feature and I'll be leaving codes to all of these HUDs down below in the description. So all I have to do is copy the code for the heads up display that you want, go to settings, go to control, click on the control sets button. And at the top right of your screen, you should see this little button. Once you've clicked the button, you'll be prompted to input a code. And once you've pasted the code that you've copied from the description, then you will have imported the layout that I've created for all of these heads of displays in today's video. This feature works for the most part, depending on the device size, the resolution of your screen and the aspect ratio. Some of the buttons and the positions might be off a little bit. And so I still would use this video as reference to make sure all the buttons are in the right place, but this will save a lot of time and effort over just copying everything down by hand. I do also know some extremely competitive two finger players on Call of Duty Mobile, Fortnite Mobile and other mobile shooter games. So it's not to say that you can't get good or even great using only two fingers on Warzone Mobile. It's just that it's going to be much harder to do so. So take that into consideration when you're deciding which head to display from this video you'd like to try out. If you venture into the more advanced claw play style that uses three or four fingers, you might have a little bit of a harder time learning at first, but the skill ceiling is so much higher as you're allowed to do more inputs at once, which makes you a more mechanical and more advanced player. And if you're wondering what the claw play style is, instead of just using your two thumbs, you add either one or two extra pointer fingers to your screen to allow upwards of four inputs at once. And it kind of looks like your hands are claws, which is why it's called the claw play style. But speaking of a 
three finger play style, I think it's time to go ahead and show the first of the more advanced layouts in Warzone Mobile, the three finger claw layout. Now this heads up display is designed for players who are trying to become a little bit more advanced and more, more mechanical in their gameplay. And we'll be doing so by playing with three fingers on the screen at once instead of just the traditional two. Now you will have one finger, that being your left index finger in this example, dedicated to just shooting and reloading, which makes gunfights and engagements much less awkward and much less clunky and allows you to really refine your movement and mechanics when in gunfights, which as you know, is the core of Warzone Mobile. You still will have some of the issues where your right thumb is having to press a lot of the action buttons like ADS, jump, and sprint. But at least now you're starting to sort of split up the work amongst more fingers, which allows you to become a more efficient and mechanical player. And again, allows you to build skill faster and more efficiently than if you were just using two fingers. The three finger layout, in my opinion, is the HUD that's going to fit most of the people watching today's video as it's the perfect middle ground for someone who's looking to elevate their gameplay but also not looking to join an esports team or go pro by any means this gameplay style allows you to get the most out of warzone's mechanic system without giving you the intense learning curve that four or five fingers can often be accompanied by and again just to go back to the point i made earlier i'm not a three finger player but i did do a lot of research from other professional three finger heads up displays and other mobile shooting genres and so feel free to swap out the arrangement of any of these buttons if you think the jump button should be where the crouch button is well then feel free to make that adjustment again these are your heads up displays i am just sort of creating the rough template as to where these buttons should go and the size and the placement but you should be the ultimate decider as to where these buttons finally end up on your screen however if you aren't satisfied with a three finger heads up display and you're looking to get the most out of wars and mobile possible well then let me introduce you to the four finger claw heads up display layout this is one of the most tried and true play styles out there when it comes to elevating your gameplay with mobile shooters if you want to excel in mobile gaming then switching to a four finger play style is one of the quickest ways to do so and there are a few main reasons for this one is that you keep one of the main aspects from the three finger layout of having one finger dedicated to the shoot button but now you gain the added ability of basically your right thumb being almost dedicated to being your virtual look joystick as most of the action buttons will be moved to the responsibility of your right index finger and so instead of having to constantly take your right thumb off the screen to jump into ads and to crowd to reload that now lies on the responsibility of your right index finger and so in theory 90 to 95 percent of the time your right thumb should be on the screen allowing you to really hone in on your aim and focus on nailing your shots in every single engagement and i haven't mentioned it up to this point but muscle memory is probably one of the most if not the most single important aspect when it comes to building and creating heads up displays and becoming really proficient with them now unfortunately there's no way to force muscle memory to occur it just would have happened over time through repetition but there's one way to prevent muscle memory and when i refer to muscle memory it's just the instinct of knowing when to press a button in a certain situation and not having to look at your screen but the way to prevent muscle memory is by always changing your heads up display every few days changing the position oh i don't want the jump button here i want it down here oh i think the the the, the shoot button should be a little bit smaller this is basically the prime example of how not to build muscle memory as if you're always changing your heads up display then you're not allowing that mind body connection and that repetition from time and time again of dropping in doing the same repeated actions of oh i see someone i press this button at this time and then your mind makes that connection if you're not able to do that because you're always switching around your heads up display then you're going to be missing out on one of the key aspects of fps gaming which is muscle memory and so of course this doesn't mean just make a heads up display and stick with it but you really want to try to at least give a heads up display a few days or a week before making any big changes it's fine to make some small tweaks and small adjustments of the position of buttons but do your absolute best to not try full new layouts go from two finger to four finger to three finger every few days as you're not going to be giving yourself enough time to really adjust to the heads up display and see if it works for you now at this point we have covered the three most common phone layouts for warzone mobile but you guys don't have to stop there again these are merely just templates and you can even go on to add a fifth or six finger to your phone gameplay to see if that helps you out. Personally, I don't know if I would recommend this too much. I know there are some professional Call of Duty mobile players 
who play with five or six fingers. But for me, I've seen that for most people, four fingers is where you get like 90% of the return. And then after that is a lot of extra work for a little bit of extra return. But again, use these templates to craft your own masterful heads up display in Warzone Mobile. Now there are two more heads up display layouts we're going to be showing in today's video. And those are the tablet heads up displays. For this, there's only two layouts, the four finger and the six finger layouts. And that's because I think that's mostly how people are playing these days. If you're wondering why there's not a two finger tablet layout, well, if you ask me, if you're playing with two fingers on a tablet, you're just doing it all wrong. And you should really try to copy down the four finger hug layout I'll be showing to learn claw on a tablet. Because if you're using two fingers, you might as well just go play on a phone. And that's not to sound harsh. It's just that you might actually be better off with two fingers on a phone than two fingers on a gigantic tablet screen. But for the four finger heads up display layout, it's actually very similar to the four finger phone layout, if not identical, except the buttons are obviously just spaced out differently and positioned a little differently. Again, I think four fingers is the very happy middle ground for tablet players, where it's a huge jump up from two fingers and it lets you become more skilled than the average player. I mean, heck, you'll probably be more skilled than like 90% of the player base if you're using four fingers on a tablet. But in my opinion, it's really not too difficult to learn. And the big advantage of tablet players, as you all know, is just the screen size. There's two main benefits. One is that, well, as a tablet player, you can see people way farther away than you can normally on a phone. And secondly, and this is really awesome when you're trying a new heads up display, the screen size is bigger. So that means the buttons are bigger. They're usually easier to hit and you misclick them less often. These two factors paired together mean you'll become skilled faster than the average player. And the best part is you'll be doing so without breaking a sweat. This exact four finger tablet HUD is how I learned to play Claw like six years ago on Fortnite Mobile. And so I think it just goes to show how good it is if it's still basically the same and everyone used this layout six years later on Warzone Mobile. Now, the last layout I'm going to be showing you all in today's video is the six finger tablet layout and the one that I personally use in Warzone Mobile. Now, I think this could be considered a bit overkill and personally, I, I think it is for Warzone Mobile, but I've been playing mobile shooters for the last four years with six fingers. So at this point, I'm just kind of used to it. And I don't want to have to go back to learning how to play with four fingers. And so I guess this is just where we are. Now, this layout looks pretty much identical and that's because the general arrangement of the buttons basically is identical. The only difference is that each finger now has less responsibilities and the positionings might be a little bit different just to allow a little bit more room for each finger to actually hit the correct button. And one thing I do like about this heads up display is that picking up the weapons on the ground, I basically now have a dedicated finger for that being my right index finger, which is very nice because at least at the moment in time, picking up weapons in Warzone Mobile absolutely sucks because there's no menu, there's no drop down menu. And so I do at least like this ability for being a six finger player. Other than that, there's really very few direct benefits of being a six finger player or a four finger player. I know there's literally a million four finger tablet players out there who are better than me. So it doesn't always mean adding more fingers to your screen is gonna make you a better player. At the end of the day, just practicing with the heads up display you have, getting really good map awareness, game awareness, it's gonna to help you more at the end of the day than just adding 10 fingers to your screen because of what the heck is that gonna do? So that's where I would probably stop things on a tablet, max six fingers, four to six fingers is the good range. And on a phone, two to four fingers is usually the good range as well. But there you have it, folks. Those are the best heads up displays right now in Warzone Mobile. If you think these designs were great, well then I would greatly appreciate it if you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you think they sucked, well, at least I hope you took away something from this video to go out there and create your own heads up display displays that'll suit you better and make you a better player within the game. On screen are going to be some other really helpful Warzone mobile guides that I've posted recently. So if you're in the market for some more Warzone mobile tips and tricks, then make sure to check out some of these videos that are up here on the screen beside me. Now that, I've been one duck of the game. Thanks so much for watching today's video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces!